Hi, I'm Carrie with Educating, keeping you on the cutting edge of education. So this week, the way that I'm going to keep you on the cutting edge is to discuss with you a product that I was asked to review. This product is called the Co-Drone Mini. It is a programmable drone. And I wanted to share with you my learning process and how this uh, wonderful uh, tool could be used in a classroom. We at Educating are always here to keep you on the cutting edge of education. So if you like our videos, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe below. Also, make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications when we post more excellent videos like this. So let's learn more about the Codrone Mini by Robolink. So to start off, you need to know I have zero experience with coding and I have zero experience with drones. I am one of those people who I can't play modern video games because it takes two joysticks to run it. So I was excited to see this code drone that I was gonna be able to program it to fly so that I wasn't the person who had to fly it. Uh, it is a regular drone. You can just uh, start it up, sync the the remote to the drone and you can fly it and it's it's wonderful. It's a really fun toy, but as an educational tool and using it to uh, teach someone how to do any kind of coding, it really is a great first step. It's fun and it's interactive. I really enjoyed it. And so I just wanna share with you some videos, uh, video clips on how I was able to work with it. And you're gonna hear a new voice on this video because it's my son's. And he decided that he wanted to talk me through the coding aspect of the video. So when you hear a new voice, it's, it's him. But um, you know, we always need help from other people when we're doing things that we have no experience with. And this was one of my experiences. But I really enjoyed the Code Drone Mini, and it really was easy to use, very self-explanatory. Their website was great, uh, so I'm ready to jump in. So this package contains the drone, the remote control, uh, the wiring necessary to sync them to your computer and to sync them to each other. And it has a great startup guide. Uh, it has all the directions that are necessary in that guide, and it is really very easy to use. It was a great resource and also led me to the computer program that I would need, uh, the website for me to log in to be able to do Blockly. So in this small package, we had everything that we needed. So I wanna show you how I was able to get this Kodro Mini to fly. I coded him to fly up, hover, and then do a flip and land all on my own. You can also program it to play certain patterns of colors or sounds. Uh, it's all through the Blockly program that is provided through the Codrone website. My son uh, assisted me in doing this, and so I want him to explain the coding that we went through for this flight. So, so you go over the flight commands. You first, when you take off, is take off. You place it out here in the blocky format, and then depending what you want to do, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it over here. We're going to make it hover, hover over here, and then you got to connect it going down. So you connect it, and then you input how many seconds you want. We're going to do three seconds. Now it's going to hover three seconds. Now we go to flight sequences to do any type of flips. We're going to do a flip right. We connect it once again going down. And then to make sure it lands, you have to input a land. And this, you have to put in the very bottom. When you get done with all those, you check make sure that's what you want. And then you go over here and click run code. So I hope you enjoyed my little introduction to coding and the Codrone Mini. Remember, we here at Educate always here trying to keep you on the cutting edge of education. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe below so that you can get those notifications, make sure you hit that bell. Thanks for watching.